So before the Bobcat fire, uh, this hill slope was covered with thick uh, chaparral mixed with some conifers um, in there. And as you can see now, there's nothing left. And, and what I see when I see that is that once the winter rains come, all of that sediment that's now loose and not held up by the vegetation that was here before is gonna run down into the, into the creeks and into the rivers. So I began research with the southern mountain yellow-legged frog back in 2000. Back then, it was unclear how the species was doing. Uh, we knew it was not as plentiful as it was historically. And so through our research, we realized how critically endangered uh, this frog had become. Careful, guys. How are you? These wildfires are really devastating to the species. Fortunately, the fire didn't burn the entire San Gabriel Mountains. There are, even though it's very large, there are some areas that um, could support frogs. And so uh, those are the areas we're looking at. We have some ideas in mind, but we need to do some surveys to make sure the habitat's suitable. This entire drainage, whether the trees burned in that section or whether the trees are still green, it's still all going to be heavily impacted once the rains start. Our best hope is that with time um, and with enough rain, we'll see a quick vegetation recovery. That's the way nature takes care of itself after a fire. And we try to keep the recovering vegetation safe to allow it some time and some room to recover and to grow.